In 2023, we arranged more than 435 property purchases around the UK. And in 2024, we plan to buy even more. However, there are five cities that we consider to be ticking time bombs, waiting to explode. So today, we'll take a look at which cities they are, why we're avoiding them, and help you to navigate the property minefield in 2024. As we know, working from home became the norm during the pandemic. Nobody was going into the office. But what did this mean for property? Well, it was called the race for space. Thousands of people started to flee the big cities in search of a garden and a spare room, ideally picking places in the countryside or by the seaside to enjoy the beautiful English weather. And as demand for property in these areas increased, so did the prices. However, that trend has come to an end. Even though you'll still struggle to catch anyone in the office on a Friday, only 16% of people work fully from home and many companies have started to ask employees back into the office two to three days a week. The extreme increases in city centre rents in the likes of London, Manchester and Birmingham show that cities are staging a comeback. So what does this mean for these pandemic paradise hideouts? Well, the prices are still extremely high due to the boost they were given during the pandemic, when there were bidding frenzies as people desperate to escape the city competed against each other. But demand has peaked and is falling, pulling prices lower. Combine this with low rental yields and it makes them a terrible investment at the moment. There are many cities like this around the UK, such as Oxford and Cambridge, but the worst is probably Brighton. Prices there absolutely shot up during the pandemic, rising well above the national average, almost putting it into the same category as London. But unfortunately, this increase in prices was not sustainable. So even if they don't fall far, we can't see them keeping up with the rest of the UK. So although it's a beautiful place, we will not be investing there in 2024. The pandemic was an interesting time, not just for the long-term rental market, but also for the holiday rental market. Between 2021 and 2022, the number of holiday lets increased by 33%. But why? Well, travel was restricted, so we saw the return of the British holiday which meant a lot of landlords changed their long-term rental property to holiday lets in order to take advantage of the demand. And people were happy to do this because there are some really nice tax treatment benefits you get for holiday lets. But once the pandemic was over, the travel restriction was lifted. And rather than continuing to holiday in the UK, people went straight back to flying all over the world. And in lots of picturesque UK holiday towns, there is now a huge oversupply of holiday let accommodation and not enough long-term rental properties. And one of the worst places for this is the Lake Districts. This oversupply means it's harder for holiday let owners to fill up their calendar outside peak months, so their profits are falling. But there's another problem too. The boom in holiday lets means that there are less long-term rental properties available, so the prices of rentals have increased, which quite understandably, locals are not happy about. So across the UK, many local authorities are pushing to restrict holiday rentals by imposing extra council tax, creating stricter planning permission rules, and increasing costs associated with holiday rental properties, which means that the property market in places like the Lake District, but also popular holiday spots in the Peak District, North Wales, and the Southwest of England could suffer as holiday let owners sell up. So it would make sense to wait it out and see what happens rather than buying there in 2024. On the surface, this city looks very appealing. Great location, strong economy, and very affordable prices. But there's a catch. If you're looking to invest in a new build, you need to be extremely careful. We've seen multiple cases of new build projects which look and sound fantastic until you dig beneath the surface. For some, you're asked to put down a 50% deposit, which is just insane. So where is this happening? In Liverpool. Now, just to be clear, Liverpool has been a great place to invest over the years, and I'm not saying that all investments that are bad. Prices are significantly lower than neighbouring Manchester or Leeds, and in general, it's a good place to put your money. But while there are always certain checks you need to make to stay safe with any new build property, you need to be extra careful in Liverpool, where there are a disproportionate number of schemes that are overpriced or backed by developers with dubious track records. So by all means, look to Liverpool for your investments, and even in the city centre, but be very cautious. And just before we get on to city number four, rather than just focusing on the negative side of things, if you're interested in knowing which cities you should invest in for 2024, we'll be releasing that video next week. So think about subscribing and activating notifications. 
So if you've been following the channel, you may have been expecting this one. The fourth city we're going to be avoiding in 2024 is London. But why? Well, during the 2008 crash, house prices around the world plummeted, but not so much in the UK capital. Then, between 2012 and 2016, London became the Michael Phelps of the property world. While the rest of the world's property markets were treading water, London was absolutely steaming ahead, breaking record after record after record, which meant that London property prices went absolutely nuts. So much so that it got too expensive. No one could afford anything, neither renters nor buyers. So prices had to take a pause and wait for incomes to catch up. But what does this mean for 2024? Well, it means that property investments in London just don't make financial sense at the moment. Firstly, because property prices are at almost historical highs compared to the rest of the country, meaning it just doesn't offer good value compared to anywhere else you could buy. And secondly, London is at risk of the biggest potential crash as a result of mortgage rates increasing. Think about it. Because London prices are so expensive, many owners have large mortgages. So as mortgage rates have increased, repayments can leap by thousands per month. This creates forced sellers who can't afford their mortgages anymore, which is a recipe for falling prices. That being said, London is a great long-term investment. So if you already have property in London, which I do, I wouldn't sell because it'll always be in demand and will experience growth over time. But if you're looking to invest in 2024, the capital is not a good idea. So the reason we're staying away from this fifth city is a bit different. Recently, they made certain political decisions that made one thing very clear. They do not like landlords. I'm talking about Scotland and more specifically Edinburgh. Over the years, the Scottish government has made a lot of changes to their property market to make life really difficult for investors with the aim of helping renters, which potentially solves the evil landlord issue, but has created a different problem. Due to these political changes, nine out of 14 major institutional investors believe Scotland is an unattractive place to invest, citing political risk. And the proportion of individual Scottish investors choosing to buy in other parts of the UK instead has more than doubled since 2019. So basically no one is investing in Scotland, which means the supply of rental housing is low and rents have gone up. And the government is now having to get involved to stop rental prices increasing even further, meaning that there might be further limitations on rent increases and more drama to come. And Edinburgh specifically is under the most pressure. It's like a mini London. Prices are more expensive than anywhere else in Scotland and rents are growing by more than anywhere else in the country. So if local authorities start implementing controls, Edinburgh will be one of the cities that's hit the hardest and prices have furthest to fall. Which is why, in 2024, we'll be avoiding not only Edinburgh, but the whole of Scotland. So now you know where not to invest. But if you're looking at buying in 2024, you're probably wondering, how do I actually find somewhere worth investing? So check out this video next, where I'll tell you how to find the best property locations in a matter of minutes.